Now, Donald Trump loves to tout how he was against the Iraq war. Uh, he was uh, great on it. He was against it before, you know, before it happened. He warned them, oh, it's going to be a terrible thing. Iraq is going to be terrible. Don't go into Iraq. Don't go into Iraq. And by the way, Hillary Clinton, she voted for Iraq. Uh, that was terrible. She's a terrible person. That's why she can't be president. Okay, look, I agree with the sentiment that Iraq was awful. Yes, Hillary Clinton voted for it, made a huge mistake. If you want to hold that against her, that's great. Now, what you can't do is what Donald Trump did. Well, we did go to war, if you remember. We went to Iraq. Yeah, you went to Iraq, but that was handled so badly. And that was a war. By the way, that was a war that we shouldn't have done because Iraq did not knock down. Excuse Your running me, mate Iraq did not voted knock for down. it. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care that he voted? It's a long time ago, and he voted that way, and they were also misled. A lot of information was given to people, this, but, but I was against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, but you've used that vote that of Hillary's that was the same as Ms. Governor right. Pence. Many people As have. the example of her bad judgment. You've many people have, and frankly, I'm one of the few that was right on Iraq. Yep. Okay, I mean, I, look, some people were misled. Like poor old Mike here, right? I mean, come on, it's Mikey, Mike Pence. Mike can make a mistake once in a while. But Hillary Clinton, no, no, no. She can't make any mistake, ever. Not a single one. Really. That's what he's saying here. You know what we call that? I call that hypocrisy. If you're going to go after Clinton for showing bad judgment on her vote for the Iraq war, then maybe you should say the same thing about Mike Pence instead of saying, ah, you know what, it's okay. I don't actually care what Mike Pence did because I like Mick, Mike Pence. He's a good guy. He's a stand-up dude. Whereas Hillary Clinton, evil incarnate. Wait a minute here. That's ridiculous. He doesn't even care about Mike Pence's vote. Doesn't care at all. We heard it. Look, okay. Invading Iraq was an awful idea. We all agree upon that, right? If you blame one person for their stupid uh, vote, then you should have to blame all of them for taking that same stupid vote. I'm just saying. But I guess if you're Donald Trump, you don't have to play by those rules. You get to play by different rules. And by the way, you also get to lie about your supposedly stalwart anti-Iraq war position. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I've got some proof that Donald Trump wasn't exactly as against the war as he claims to be. In a June 22nd speech, Trump said this, quote, in short, Hillary Clinton's tryout for the presidency has, has included one deadly foreign policy disaster after another. It all started with her bad judgment in supporting the war in Iraq in the first place. Though I was not in government service, I was among the earliest to criticize the rush to war. And yes, even before the war started. Now, PolitiFact looked into that. And look, PolitiFact, they're not always right, okay? They're not always 100% right, but on a lot of things, they actually still do a pretty fairly decent job, uh, especially when it comes to just doing this, looking up facts. And on this one, they found almost nothing to support Donald Trump's claim. Now, in 2002, for example, Trump was asked by uh, Howard Stern if he supported the coming invasion of Iraq. Trump responded, yeah, I guess so. I guess so? So he supported the invasion, kind of. However, in 2003, just under three months before the invasion, Fox News' Neil Cavuto asked Trump whether or not George W. Bush should be more focused on Iraq, remember this is pre-invasion, or the economy. Now, speaking of Iraq, Trump said this, quote, well, he's either got to do something or not do something. Perhaps. Because perhaps shouldn't be doing it yet, and perhaps we should be waiting for the United Nations. You know, he's under a lot of pressure. I think he's doing a very good job. But of course, if you look at the polls, a lot of people are getting a little tired. I think the Iraqi situation is a problem. And I think the economy is a much bigger problem as far as the president is concerned. That is your typical Donald Trump rambling answer. I'm not really sure quite what his point was. You gotta, he's either got to do something or not do something. What, what, what does that even mean, dude? Seriously, just be clear. Just give me a fucking answer. My God. Look, 
from whatever that rambling pile of nonsense is, it didn't really seem that he was stridently anti-going into Iraq, though it also doesn't seem like he was very pro-going into Iraq. I don't know if he even cared. He just kind of gave an answer, and he's like, I don't know, I like George Bush. I mean, I like him, I think he's doing a good job. And the polls, I mean, I gotta mention the polls. You're not Donald Trump if you don't mention at least one or two polls. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, it doesn't seem like he had any strong convictions on this whatsoever, which I guess kind of explains Donald Trump. He doesn't have any convictions. He goes with whatever suits Donald Trump. And going for the Iraq war didn't really suit him. Going against the Iraq war didn't really suit him. So he's just like, I don't know. Eh, I mean, I guess he's got to do something. I mean, he's the president. Presidents do stuff, right? I mean, you agree. The, po the polls, look at the polls. <laughs> look, the reason that he's now so anti-Iraq war why he came out so strong is that he's using this as uh, to get a political advantage over Hillary Clinton. You don't think if the Iraq war was super popular that he'd be like, I was for the Iraq war. You know it. I'm the most militaristic man in history. I mean, I love the military. The military is tremendous. I'd have served in the military. Which actually, no, that's not true. Because he had a chance to serve in Vietnam, uh, but he didn't. He got deferred and then he considered his own, he considered dodging venereal disease his own Vietnam. Oh, this guy, this guy. And look, you can criticize Hillary Clinton. I criticize Hillary Clinton for voting for the Iraq war, but this is ridiculous. He's got no basis to criticize anyone because he'll say anything back any position in order to advance the agenda of Donald Trump. You know what? That's not really being a leader. You know what that's called? That's called being an opportunist.